when I installed this Optifine thingy, I joined the server and I got all of the piggies. Ah, ah. Hey guys, what's up? So I'm gonna show you guys another cool mod today, and this mod is called the Optifine mod for Minecraft 1.6.2. Out of all the mods that updated for Minecraft, all of you guys have been spamming me, have been sending me lots of messages to review this mod in particular. You guys didn't want me to review it, but you guys wanted me to make a tutorial on how to install Optifine for Minecraft 1.6.2 since the installation is quite different for the new latest versions of Minecraft. Anyways, this is why this tutorial or this uh, review is going to be quite short is because I'm just going to be talking about some of the features, all the basic features that Optifine adds in, and then we're just going to jump into the tutorial since all of you guys have been waiting for a tutorial. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to get Optifine working for Minecraft 1.6.2. Now before you guys actually leave the review, be sure to click on the annotation around this video where it says I need some help. So I need some of you guys' help, it's going to be like super funny and I would really like really appreciate it if you guys click on the annotation and help me out on something. Anyways, uh, with that said, how about we just check out some of the features of Optifine. So uh, first off, when you install the mod, you're going to notice something quite drastic. Your FPS is going to be super high. So when you install Optifine, if you press F3 to see your FPS, you'll notice that your FPS is going to be kind of high. Uh, depending on which version of Optifine you install, there's three different versions. There is the Optifine Ultra, which I am using right now, and there's Optifine Standard, which I recommend for all users. If you are if you are using a standard computer, go ahead and use Optifine Standard. There's also Optifine Lite, which hasn't been updated; it's still at 1.5.2. You can read all of the bios of what these Optifine versions do, and you can see what they actually do to your Minecraft game, such as like remove render distance and some all the all that other stuff like fogs and stuff. Uh, you can see the whole entire detail list of those uh, different versions at the forum itself. So anyways, if you guys look at the top right corner of my screen, it says Optifine 1.6.2 HD U V3. So I am using the Ultra Edition. The reason why you use the Ultra Edition is for like cell shaders and any type of shader pack like Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders for them to work. And I would recommend all the users to check out the Standard Edition if you guys have like a standard computer and don't have yourself like a gaming computer or whatnot. Anyways, another key feature of Optifine is you're able to zoom in with the key control. If you press control, you'll zoom in and let me just take off that uh, FPS thing. Anyways, check this out. If you press control, you can see that it zooms into objects and you can zoom into anything you want and it has like a little smooth rhythm. So let's check out the other features. If you press escape and you go here to options, you can go here to controls and you could change in the zoom in feature, which is L control. And also, if you press done and go here to video settings in the options tab, you'll see a lot of new tabs, such as performance, and you could change the slider to any set marker you want. So if you want a solid 100 FPS, keep it at 100 FPS. If you are recording, then it might differ, because when you're recording with fraps and all that stuff, it just eats up your FPS. So normally, if you're not recording, it'll just stay at a solid 100 FPS, if your computer could go that high. Anyways, uh, what we're going to do is just go to max FPS, that is my recommendation, because uh, you get all the FPS that you need. And and I, when you install it, you know, by default, it's going to be all the way down here to VSync. You don't want that. You want it at max FPS. Uh, there's also a render distance slider that goes all the way up past far. So if you don't like far distance, you could go all the way up to extreme. So if you don't want that far stuff, you could go to extreme and get the real stuff. So you can mess around with all of these tabs and sliders and all that stuff and it will dramatically change your experience in Minecraft, give you more FPS and do a lot more than just that. You could also hover over any of these tabs such as the fog right here, you just hover over and a pop out's gonna appear and this will provide you with information about this tab in particular and it'll also tell you some tips of how to make the tab a little bit more easier for your computer and it'll give you some information of what's best to get more FPS, such as fast. You see right here it says fast, it's the fastest fog, okay that's pretty cool. Fancy, it's the slowest fog, and if you just turn it off, it's the fastest way to go. So if we just turn this off, then there we go, we're probably going to get more FPS out of this. So all you have to do is just go to performance, quality, other animations, all that stuff. You could turn off all the particles, you could turn off all the server textures and stuff. And uh, sometimes it'll just say that uh, it doesn't really affect your FPS, such as fog start. You hover over this and it says this option usually does not affect your performances. So that pretty much means you're not going to get any FPS if you change this tab in particular, but you could just mess around with all the other tabs 
and get the most FPS that you guys need. So making a review in Optifine is kind of pointless in my opinion because I've already reviewed it like 30 times and everyone already knows that Optifine gives you a lot of FPS and it's just great for Minecraft and all that stuff. It does work for a server so it's considered multiplayer supported. So I could show up that little animation where it says multiplayer supported. But anyways guys, the main focus of this video was just to show you guys on how to install Optifine for your Minecraft game because you guys already know everything Optifine does. I'm pretty sure you already skipped the review and just went to the tutorial or you guys went to the annotation that said uh, I need some of your help which will be awesome if you guys help me out because it's really funny anyways guys that is basically it about Optifine it just gives you a lot of FPS and it, it's just really recommended for Minecraft especially for a lot of people who don't have the fanciest computers out there and I used to use Optifine all the time trust me I still use it because uh, the more FPS the better right so yeah guys thanks for watching let's go ahead and see how to install this mod let's do this all right so let's go ahead and install this mod but before we install this mod I'm gonna ask you guys for some help right here anyways guys um it's gonna be really funny so hopefully you guys will pay attention and probably go through with it because it's gonna be really funny if you guys do it it's gonna be super funny trust me anyways um recently I was talking to I nom you or you may call her Madison or Maddie and uh, she was a moderator of a live stream and where people, you know, chat to each other and all that stuff. So there's this one guy who kept linking my help forums and it was funny, right? Everyone's laughing and stuff because it's my help forums. Everyone makes fun of it. Anyways, Maddie started banning all the people who kept on linking my help forums. I understand it was quite funny at the time. But then later on today, when I sent her a clip of Porkchop like talking like from months ago, she just started being so mean to Porkchop. She started saying, ew, his voice, ew, pork chop, ew. And you know what? That touched me. That touched me right here on my modded heart. Anyways, so she kind of got me mad and I told her, you're mean. And she says, so, and all that stuff. She don't care. She don't care. Anyways, what I'm going to ask you guys to do is to go to her Tumblr, which is right here. Check this out. The first link in the description, which is her Tumblr. And I'm not going to say anything, you know, mean or anything. But uh, there's something she doesn't like on Tumblr, which is the ship name SCM Madi, which means Steven, which is my username, and her name together, just like that. And she hates it. So since she hates my buddy Porkchop, hopefully she doesn't hate this SCM Madi. So if you guys click on the first link in the description, go to her Ask Tumblr thingy, and if you guys ask her SCM Madi and put a heart. It's gonna be the best thing in the world. So hopefully you guys could go there. You could spam her It's gonna be funny because I told her oh, I'm gonna do this I told her I'm gonna make a video and tell people to help me spam and all that stuff And she said she doesn't believe it She don't think I'm gonna make a video telling you guys to go to her tumblr and say SCM Madi because she don't think that you guys will be willing to do that So I told her no someone's gonna do it Someone's gonna join me and spread the word of SCM Madi and she hates this so this is what I'm gonna do for payback for being so mean to pork chop. So anyways guys, hopefully you guys could do that. Click on the first link in the description, go to her ask, which is right here. You could put SCM Madi and a little heart if you guys really want to, just include SCM Madi. And also you could click right here to ask anonymously. So if you guys want to hide your username, you can go ahead and do that. So what I'm gonna do is just do that and click ask and now it's gonna be sent to her. Thank you. See, that's all it really takes. So just go there, put SCM Madi. You could, you know, go to her three times and just say SCM Madi, which is gonna be awesome. If you guys send about 100 of those messages, you guys are probably the coolest people ever. I can't wait till she like waits wakes up or something and then she's like Steven Steven I'm sorry for being so mean to pork chop or something like that you know because she's so mean and when I try to tell her she's super mean she don't care uh, anyways guys that is basically it that's all I want you guys to do and hopefully you guys could do that for me okay so now let's begin installing Optifine it's really easy to install Optifine so we shouldn't have ourselves any issues so I'm gonna be installing the Optifine Ultra version since I have AMD graphics cards or even if you have Nvidia graphics card you could download the Ultra version if you guys have normal PCs then be sure to use the standard version of Optifine and once you guys get the download from my description or you guys could click on the annotation above this video then let's go ahead and begin installing Optifine it's really simple hey look someone's playing Fallout New Vegas so anyways, here is Optifine 1.6.2 uh, Ultra version and just drag the zip right here to your desktop so we can install it. I recently tried to install it with the Minecraft Forge installer, but it didn't really seem to work. So we're going to be skipping the Forge installation. So what we're going to be doing is just installing this directly into the Minecraft.jar. In order to do that with the 1.6.2 launcher, we're going to go here to start. 
All right, once you download off the find, go here to start. Search your program file. You're going to type in percent app data percent. And for Windows XP users, somewhere around there, you should see run. And you just run percent app data percent. And once you do that, go here to the roaming folder. Click on the roaming folder and you should see DOM Minecraft in the very top. Here's DOM Minecraft. What we're going to do is open up DOM Minecraft and you're going to see a lot of folders. What the folder you're going to be looking for is called versions. So locate the versions folder in your DOM Minecraft folder. Open that up. And now you're going to see right here 1.6.2. What you need to do is copy this folder 1.6.2. So what you're going to do is right click and copy. So right click and copy the 1.6.2 folder and you're going to repaste it back into the versions folder. So it will make a duplicate copy of the 1.6.2 folder. So right click and paste. Once you have done that, there you go. You have made yourself a duplicate version of the 1.6.2 folder. So what you're going to do now is rename this folder. So right click rename the duplicate folder and call it whatever you want. I'm going to call mine Optifine. All right. So once you have named it Optifine, you are good to go. Open up this Optifine folder that you have renamed. Once you open that up, you should still see 1.6.2 right here. The jar and the JSON file should still be named 1.6.2. What you're going to do is rename these into the folder name. So we have called our folder Optifine with a capital O. So we'll make sure to rename these into Optifine as well. So rename the jar into Optifine, which is quite simple, and rename the JSON file, right click rename, into Optifine. Just like so. There we go. So uh, once we have, you know, put Optifine, you can name it whatever you want. You can, not, you can name it Billy's Mod. You can name it whatever you want. Anyways, what we need to do now is we have to edit this JSON file. So if you right click this or you just double click this JSON file, you just right click open with Notepad++ or open with, you can open it up with Notepad or you could search other programs and open up with uh, anything that you could actually edit with, such as Word, uh, WordPad. There we go. So I'm going to choose WordPad, just press OK. And it's going to be opening up like so. There we go. So once you open up this JSON file, you should see right here ID equals 1.6.2. What you're going to do is rename that 1.6.2 into Optifine, the name of your jar. So here's the jar name, Optifine. You just rename this, the ID, into the jar name, which mine is Optifine with a capital O. So once you have edit the JSON file, go ahead and go here to File and Save. And there you go. You have saved the JSON file. Go ahead and exit off the JSON file. And now what you're going to do is install Optifine on this Optifine.jar or whatever you named it. So I'm going to right click this .jar and you're going to open up that jar with WinRAR or any 7-zip opener. If you guys don't have 7-zip or you know WinRAR, then be sure to Google WinRAR and download the free trial. So open up uh, the jar with WinRAR and there we go. What you're going to do now is you're going to delete the meta inf folder. You have to delete meta inf before installing any mods. So here's meta inf. I'm going to right click this and delete files and just say yes. And there you go. Now you have deleted meta inf. And now what you're going to do is open up the Optifine download. So make sure you get the correct version for your computer, which can handle it. So uh, if you don't have the fanciest computer, don't download Ultra and just get the standard one. So double click Optifine and move it aside. Here's Optifine's files. Select on any file that you like from Optifine, select on anything you want, and press Ctrl and A at the same time. It's going to highlight all the files from Optifine. Once you have highlighted all the files from Optifine, drag it all into the Optifine.jar. So this is where we delete them at inf. What you can do is just highlight all the files and drag it simply over to the Minecraft.jar or the Optifine.jar, same thing. And replace, press OK, and you are done. That is basically how to install Optifine. You just download the mod, highlight all these zips, and drag it into the jar that you named Optifine or whatever you named it. So once you have done that and deleted meta inf correctly, go ahead and launch Minecraft. I'm going to double click Minecraft right here. Now what I'm going to do is go here to New Profile. So I'm going to select on New Profile, and now I'm going to rename this new profile. It's going to say Copy of Whatever. So highlight this Copy of Whatever and just call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it Optifine. Oops, I spelt it all wrong, but it doesn't even matter if you spelt it wrong. Anyways, here's Optifine underscore mod. And what I'm going to do is go here to use version. Now, this is important. Go here to use versions. Select on the Optifine. So release Optifine or whatever you named your folder. So mine's called release Optifine. Go here and make sure you just have everything correct and click save profile. There you go. So once you do that, go here to profile. It's going to say default and select Optifine underscore mod or whatever you named it. So here's Optifine. Go there and click play. There you go. You have installed Optifine. You make a new profile, you select that profile, and you play. Go to single player, go into any world you want, and to make sure that you install Optifine correctly, 
what you do is press F3. If Optifine right there at the very top corner says Optifine underscore 1.6.2 underscore whatever version you are using, such as standard, it's going to say like ST or whatever. Mine's the ultra version, so it's going to say HDU B3. Anyways, guys, that is basically it. How to install Optifine. If it did really help you out, then be sure to leave a like. If you guys leave a like, I would really appreciate it. If we hit like 1,000 likes, and I knew that this tutorial helped you guys out. Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you guys for all of your support. See you later.